Meet the NPO Animator Support Project, an initiative to not only give up and coming animators the opportunity to stay in Tokyo, but also to give them a head start through training programs and workshops. The Animator Dormitory Project is a charity designed to help out startup animators in a low paying cutthroat industry. There's no way to get money directly into the hands of those folks outside of maybe by supporting the Animator Dormitory Project. Go, go do that. It's been quite amazing to see the anime community come together despite their ideological differences to fund the Animator Dormitory Project. Like in the 2016 project where Canapa Effect boosted the signal and got it almost completely funded. The next year, it exceeded its expectations and got 177% funded, and in 2018, it was also a huge success. But it's a shame I'm the one who has to come forward for the 2019 project and say that it needs funding. The community has been deathly silent about this newest and latest project. Before we made our video on the necessity for socialist production, the project was only 23% funded. Not to humble brag at all, but the project is now 30% funded, and at least $1,000 were raised by our community alone. I know for a fact that if any anti-tubers with a sizable audience that are bigger than our 1,000 subscribers come forward and signal boost this project, it will get even further. But if our community at Shonen Ronin can fund almost 7% of the entire project, I know the anime community can get this done really quick. So I have a simple call to action to everyone listening to this video. I hope you will help me tag all the other anti-tubers to signal boost this project once again this year. For example, we should tag Canapa Effect again, Pedantic Romantic, Unique Namasaurus again. We need to tag even shills like Mother's Basement, Digibro even. Gigook if we can, I mean that'd be a luxury, but hell yeah, let's tag Gigook. And there are countless other anti-tubers who could help with this. I know r slash anime has banned any crowdfunding, but maybe we can like change the name a bit so it's not like clear, but this is important. So r slash anime needs to suck it up and deal with it. Also, if you're in any anime discord servers, please add the mods or even do it yourself, but share this link and let people know about this project. It's clear to me that fans really want to help animators. They just don't know about this year's project. So please let everyone know as much as you can. Your own donations will help. And as we've seen in this individual community, they have gone a long way but I think shares will go even further. For one thing, as this project states in its opening paragraph, the average animator is only paid 90,000 yen per month, and that to US dollars is about $800. But that's only the average. Sometimes first year animators only make as much as 30,000 yen, which is about $270. Now, I, as a part-time worker in the United States, being paid minimum wage at this shitty job and making about $800 per month still, this is not enough to get by at all. That's why the Anime Dormitory Project is providing a dual purpose of providing housing for new animators who would probably be unable to meet ends meet unless this housing was provided. But they're also providing technical support with experts providing monthly classes. But they also find these animators well paying jobs too. When the project started in 2014, they had one dormitory that housed two animators. After March 2018, they have four different dormitories housing 11 animators. And they say in their project that they've supported 48 animators total. Here's just some examples of their former boarders who have now debuted as animation directors. Masaki Tanaka, who worked as an animation director for Attack on Titan Season 3. Tatsuro Kawano, animation director for Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress. Opening animation director for Boruto Next Generations. It's clear that the anime dormitory project is an absolute necessity that needs to be funded. However, they're also trying to move to the next stage because simply providing housing isn't going to change the way the anime industry functions. And that's why they have another project that is also crucial to fund that they call the new anime making system project. Now, I don't think any other anti-tuber has talked about this so far, to my knowledge. So what is the new anime making system project? Well, simply put, the goal is to fund a Grand Prix where a winning submission for a storyboard by fans will be adapted into a short anime film. The production costs will be crowdsourced by fans and will go directly to paying the production staff, such as the animators. This is fundamentally different from how the anime industry works. Usually when they make animators, they need a production committee who will take on the burden of the production. This is needed to avoid huge debt. But the problem is that the production committee takes most of the profits from sales. If an anime is successful, you can bet that the goods and merchandise sold 
is going to the production committee. Meanwhile, the actual animators in the studio will see none of that. Chances are they have a low salary, long working hours, and sometimes even illegal contracts. I know we here at the channel have said before that a solution to this is forming unions. And while this would be a good option, there are some material conditions in the way of such a goal. As this project states, the first problem is that many animators are freelancers who don't regularly work for a single company. The second problem is employment status difference between in-between animators, who are sometimes regular employees or non-regular employees. And the third problem is the anime industry is based on human relations, and labor unions in the past have tended to disband due to peer pressure. And I'm reminded of an old example of Ghibli before they were Ghibli, when their union was fighting against Tohei, but they were pressured heavily. The movie Son of Horus which they made at that time just shows the conflict that their union had to undergo. This project says that sometime in fall 2019 there will be a 30 second short that demonstrates this project's potential, directed by Tatsuro Kawano, a former boarder at the dormitory who is a casting director for Boruto The Next Generation. I'm excited to see that and hopefully that commercial can brew some more hype in the community. This project really is a small step in changing the anime industry, but it's a crucial one. Its goals of using crowdfunding to fund the production costs, create a direct flow of money from fans to animators, to use this direct flow of money from fans to allow production to have sufficient time and budget for their projects, and this independent system allowing animators to get directly paid from the sales that their successful projects have. This absolutely needs to be a success, and the MPO animator supports are obviously going to take more steps if this one succeeds. The community has gone hype before about the Trigger Patreon, and I must say I was hyped for that too. For some reason we had our expectations held high that the Patreon would directly fund the animators. This is probably partially true, but the Patreon mainly served to sell more merchandise and provide a bit of rewards for fans. But this is what we were actually asking for, a way to get money directly to the animators. Screw the middlemen, the people who actually make the anime deserve the most appreciation. The dormitory project has less than 3 months left to be funded completely. I'm not exactly sure on the deadline for the new anime making system project, but it needs to be funded as soon as possible as well. With a little effort and more publicity, I know this project will be a huge success. So please lend your support and share this around. As I said before, tag AniTubers, post on Reddit, post on anime discords, share it to your friends. Please consider sharing this video itself. If it doesn't perform very well and people remain silent about this project, I'll probably just have to make a new one. However, judging by how supportive this community has been before at this channel, I know it's in our capability to do this. So one last time, please lend me a hand. We can get this done.